U.S. left, the United States military closed its headquarters in Iraq. Nearly nine years after we invaded Iraq, on questionable intelligence, weapons of mass destruction, and after spending more than $800 billion, our military's mission in Iraq has officially ended. As high as the financial costs of the war were, the human toll was greater. 4,487 Americans lost their lives during the conflict, and over 32,000 were wounded. In Memphis, we lost 10 brave men, Staff Sergeant Morgan Keenan, Marine Corporal Brent Morrell, Specialist Urban Caradine, Jr., Lance Corporal Timothy Krieger, Specialist Mario Ross, First Lieutenant Andrew Stern, Lance Corporal Adam Murray, Captain Robert Sashir, First Lieutenant Frank Walkup, and Private First Class Christopher Fox. In addition to those who sacrificed their lives, we must also remember the more than one million troops who sacrificed in countless other ways since the war began in 2003. As we welcome them home from deployment, we must keep them prominent in our minds, and the promises that we made when they signed up to put their lives on the line for our country have to be kept. We must honor their service by giving them the assistance they need in the transition back to life in the United States. I, for one, will never give up fighting for those who fought for us. Wear a yellow ribbon or put one in your house. Welcome the troops home.